Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to build up this little pumpkin box. You can use it with tea light. If you don't put the bottom section on, just trim off the tabs. Um, I'm using them, making them for little trick or treat boxes for sweeties this year. So I haven't glued down all the tabs. I've just used red liner tape to do the first three. And you can just bring out alternate ones. And that just, that just keeps it closed like that. Keeps it closed like that. So I'm using uh, the Cutting Craftorium Trick or Treat USB. And you'll find the file under the Witch's Cat. You need to click on Witch's Cat on your Brother Scan and Cut. Then you click on Book and then you will find the SVG cutting file for the pumpkin. Now, if you've been lucky enough to get a kit this year for Halloween, you will find there are four pieces. So you have your main body piece and these have all got score lines and in the kits you'll find you've already got your red liner super sticky tape already on the tabs. Now for the, the smaller little tabs like that you would put glue on that bit. So the, the little tabs here and the lines across the pumpkin you'll see there's white lines these are actually score lines so what you do is you just bend like that you don't bend them all the way back and you use this this is going to shape your pumpkin so you just bend them gently like that i recommend doing all the the vertical and then doing the horizontal. So I'm just going like that and folding them. This one I would glue down. This one here you'll see is it's part of the mouth. So when you're building up put a bit of glue there before you take the sticky tape off. When you're building this up and you're taking the the tape liner off, bend your tabs right back like that and then while this one's bent back it's not going to get in the way, glue there and just actually bend it like that to create those angles and you use the lines as a guide to go like that and then once they're stuck you then bend again and then match up the horizontal and vertical score lines. So, I also recommend that when you're building it up, that you leave, if you turn it to the back here, that you leave one of the long back seams open and leave that one to the very end so you can get access to the inside to glue the little tabs. Right, so I've done all of that. So now we do the vertical and just put your nail under your finger and just go like that. Sorry, we'll do the horizontal. And if you happen to miss any out, you can still bend them as you're going along. These ones here across the mouth, if you put your finger underneath, supporting the square, just before the score line and then go that with your finger and then that will go in the way. So it depends, you can decide to, to leave the top hexagon loose so you can get access if you're putting sweeties in. If you want it to be suitable to put a battery operated tea light in, have the open access at the bottom with the little tabs. The kits have tape on all the last tabs 
So if you, you would just decide and don't peel the backing off, off the tape if you want to have access to inside. Let's put items in. Okay, so that's all the tabs folded. Right. So I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to put the double-sided tape um, using double-sided red liner tape. Um, the tabs are quite small, so I just cut off a little bit like that. Put that, put the little bit there. And then I recommend that you have, I'm right-handed, so have the tab on the right with my right hand. And then I put the, the tape as close as I can to the score line, but not over it. If you cut your double-sided tape and it's slightly over the line, the cut line, that's fine. When you are taking this tape off, the easiest way is to put your nail under and just go like that to get that, that bit of red liner tape rather than picking at it. It's easier to take it off this way. If there was some double-sided tape sticking out of the tab, when I remove this red liner, I would just take my finger and smooth it over so that you're not getting any sticky stuff out with your tab. So I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to put all the tape on this. Okay, that's me back now. And I've got the tape all there apart from, so if you look to see the face, so that would be the section that I would have with no glue or no tape on it. Okay. So as I say, keep this side open, do that side last so that you can access it. So this tab here is going to get glued there. So first of all, remove the tape from the two tabs. This red liner tape is very static. If you have a wet, damp bit of kitchen roll, then that would make your life a lot easier and they wouldn't get everywhere. To apply the glue on the tabs, I'm just using a scrap bit of paper and I'm just going to dab a tiny little bit and I'm just going to spread that out. So you don't want lots of glue. So we've got the glue there. These tabs, I'm going to bend them back so they're only going to be in contact when I want them to. And again, bend that back. So as you're going along, bend like that and you'll find that the box will go together a lot easier. So again, I'm going to bend and I'm going to use that score line as a guide and I'm going to use the horizontal ones as the guide. Now this is glue, so you need to hold this in position to make it a bit easier. Fold the top tab back because it's, and then the middle one, line up the lines. And only when you've got it in the right position, use your finger at the back and press down on the tab to make contact. That will then hold that in place. So I'm just going to press down a little bit to make sure that that glue, there's a tab there, so I'm just pressing down on that. So because I've put that tab to the back, it's not going to stick here until I want it to stick. So again, bend over to make the dimensional pumpkin and then press down. So again, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this tab, take the tab off red liner tape. Again, push that to the back so it's not going to be in the way. Red liner tape is super sticky. It's, it's good for construction and more permanent items. There we go. So again, when I put this tab in, that glue is then easier to fold into place. So I'm just aiming 
and when I'm happy with it, I press on the tab at the back and then the tab that's glued, I'm just going to press down with my finger. If I didn't, if you only put the glue on, you would have to sit there and hold it. If you find that you get glue seeping out, just use your pinky and wipe it away. So I've done that tab. This tab's still got the red liner tape. So again, just put the nail under. Again, fold back so it's not in the way. You can hold it back with your other finger. And again, use those crease lines. And then just guide it when you're happy and press. So I'm going to continue doing this around the box. Um, this section here fits in there. Again, there's a little tab, little tab here, and there's a little tab at the mouth. I would recommend doing this section just now so it's easier to get uh, into the first time I made it. I built up the full card pumpkin and then I put this bit in. And also note, that the mouth has a tab as well to go in. So again, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this tab. And it's better if the, the glue's drying dried slightly when you're doing this. And it's went a bit tacky, it's a bit easier. Right. So just make sure it's the right way up. That's going to fit there. So again, I'm going to use these fold lines. I'm going to bend slightly. In order to get this bit to fit each other, you do have to bend it a little bit. So be aware of that. Again, this tab, I'm going to bend back so it's out of the way. So I'm just going to fit this in position. And when I'm happy with the position, I'm going to press on the back and put that tab there. The next one, again, bending until I've got it in the right position where I'm happy, using my finger at the back. Now this is held in place, this bit's going to be a lot easier. So if you just put it in place again, use that, use the, be the lines to bend. You need to bend and then pinch. So you need to hold that for a few seconds. That's how it's better if the glue's going slightly tacky and is not just freshly applied. Right, so again, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this tab here. And then peel the red liner tape off. Again, I'm going to bend all these score cut lines, especially the mouth, and then I'm going to fit these together. And this is a tab on that side. I would take that off in a minute. First things first is to get this into the right position. So again, I'm using the lines as a guide to the position and push at the back. So that's now held in position. This one here. Let's take this off. And doing these these two tabs means that the glue, that the tab that requires glue, will hold in position a lot easier, and it's less holding time. So you can see here how it looks like it's not quite meeting. So in order to get get it to meet like that, you do have to bend this line here. So I'm just going to fold over. I've got my finger at the back here, pushing down against the line. So I'm going to match it up. And then when I'm happy with the position, I'm just going to hold that for a minute. I've got my finger at the front and the back. That's how it's better if the tape is tacky. It's less time to actually sit there and hold it. Right, let's see how we're going. Right, that's fine, so I can move on to the next section. So that's fine, I can move on to the next section. Um, again, we've got a tab that requires a bit of glue. So I'll put the glue on. 
and I'm just going to do the rest of the tabs. So this is us at the, the last tab now. So you can have access at the bottom or through the, through the mouth. So again, make sure tabs are out of the way. So you're going to do these one at a time and you don't want them in the way. So again, I'm just going to put them in position. That I'm happy with. Just match those lines up, press them down as I go. And again, if you find the lines are not matching, bend the card at the the horizontal score lines to get the dimension and they will match up. And there we go. Right, this one not quite matching up so again bend the card stock keep that one out of the way there we go That's that. and make sure you put some pressure on your tabs so that they stick down in place if you haven't applied pressure on your tabs you can still squeeze them a little bit um, get them into a position that you're happy with. You see here the super sticky is super sticky but you do have slight leeway here to just squish it a little bit over and then press down again. So this is the pumpkin built up so the next part is to put the two hexagons on. It's getting covered in little bits of red liner text can also use a wet baby wipe. So the so if you were doing it for a tea light, you could leave them there. I recommend trimming them off before you build it up. If you're just having it as a, a tea light little lantern, and then that will fit over your tea light. You could, if you've got a white tea light, you can get black ones. Um, or gold ones. If you have white tea lights in the house, you can line it, line, cut a little strip of card and glue that to your tea light so it would look, pumpkin would look like it's on a black plinth. Now, I've only put two bits here so that again I can flip that over. So, in order to get the shape and dimensions because you can see it's a bit squishy. I'm going to put the top one on first. So I'm just going to remove all these tabs, put my finger in, makes it a lot easier. So what I did for the the packs that I was making up for Halloween with these in them, I got little chocolate balls that that have the foil printed to look like a pumpkin so I took took four or five I can't remember exactly it might have been four or five of the balls chocolate balls and I wrapped them in black tissue paper what I did was I put the black tissue paper in here first um cut out a square maybe about 20 by 20 centimetres at most, not big. Um, scrunched it up, placed it inside, first of all, and then I then popped the balls one by one before I glued the top on. As you can see, it's super sticky, it really is super sticky. Okay, so we've got all the tabs done now. Right. So the oh, neatest bit I want to be is the front, so I'm going to start at the front and I'm just going to match the lines here. I'm going to also bend these tabs back a bit because I don't want them to stick straight away. Right, so I've got those three there. 
I'm just going to use the points and match the points up and you can squeeze the pumpkin back and forth like this to get the lines to match up. So I'm just going to hold it like that and when I'm happy with the position put my thumb down and then I'm going to go inside and I'm going to press those tabs down to contact the hexagon one by one. Just going to check I've got them all in contact. Got one more to do. So I'm just using the back of my nail to make contact. So that's the top part done. This little bit here is coming away. Just needs a little bit more glue. Um, you can use PVA glue. I'm using the Hobbycraft glue. And I've had this bottle for a while. I've got to buy it in a large bottle and then I just decant it into the little bottle. It's handy if you're going to any craft group just to take a smaller bottle. If your bottle of glue is running out, this one is, I need to refill it. Um, it's better if you have your glue bottle upside down, you can even sit it in a cup and do that. So I just want a tiny little bit of glue there. So I'm actually going to put it that side. Again, I've still got access here. So check all your tabs before you put the, the final hexagon on. So I'm just going to hold that and just check. The other tab's fine. This one just came away a little bit. Um, what I did with the pumpkins that I made up and put chocolate balls in them for the younger kids, because they didn't get the kit to make up the actual pumpkin. Um, oh God, I forgot what I was going to say there. Um, no, it's gone. I don't know. Maybe come back to me. It's going to be the bottom. So to form the flap, I'm just going to take double red liner tape. If you find you've got a little bit protruding the tab, just fold back like that with your finger so that it's only on the piece of card and then your tissue is not going to stick to it. Right, so again I'm going to match the corners up and where I'm happy with it. This time, just line it up there, even though they don't have glue or tape, you want to do that. So you can get your little pinky in. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy, but because it's, the mouth is there, it gives you access to those taps. Okay, so this now forms a lid. If you wanted to put it on the tea light like that, if you're going to use it, if it's got sweeties, the kids can take the sweeties out, then you can either pull this tab off and cut that back or you can cut a hole that pierce it with the scissors, being careful, and then actually put that hole over the actual flame. So alternate tabs I'm going to bring out. And this means that your sweeties for the kids are not going to fall out. So it's just alternate tabs like that. And you can see here, and I'm just going to press them down like that. And that's the little pumpkins. Um, this bit of glue is still drying here. So I'm just going to pinch that for a minute and hold that. Um, I grunged up some of the pumpkins. If you take a sponge applicator and use some distress ink, you can go over, see where the, the white lines are. This is cardstock that's not coloured all the way through. So if you don't want those white lines to show, you can grunge it up. You can grunge it up with, I think the colour I used was wild honey. That was just a nice colour, but any kind of golden, yellowy, brown colours would be nice. Black might be like a bit too stark. So I hope you have enjoyed making your pumpkin. If you receive one of the a few pumpkin kits from me. 
So I've went and got a battery operated light and I've taken off my flashlight thing um, on my phone. So you can see here how it glows and it really gets quite spooky. That will look lovely in the window. Um, if you want this to be more permanent for the tea light, what you can do is your red liner tape, you can put some, your red liner tape, you can take the, the red liner tape off, tape off to reveal the sticky tape and then actually place it on and then it's not going to pop off. So yeah, it's really nice as a, a treat box, little trinket box, you could even give gifts um, if you're if you like spooky stuff, personally pumpkins go beyond Halloween, so if somebody's got a birthday in autumn, you could always wrap their gift up in tissue and put it in there and supply a little battery operated tea light. The, the gem strips that you get look really nice glued to the tea light, that would be, really be a nice gift for someone. So again, thank you for watching, uh, if you liked the video. Please like and subscribe to see more. Thank you. Bye.